Welcome to the Soul of Innovation Podcast. I am Thomas Anglero. And how often do you wake up in the morning and you reflect on the dream that you had? Do you ignore it? Or do you think there is something significant in that dream? There's a message, there's a lesson in that dream that I am supposed to be paying attention to. Let me tell you about the dream I had last night and how it was different than any other dream I've ever had before. Last night, I dreamt that I was learning to become a car mechanic. (laughs) That's different. And I was taking a course, and it felt like we were in Italy. Don't know why I would be trying taking a course to become a car mechanic in Italy. That's interesting. And the people in my class and my instructors were not being nice to me. My instructors were being rude, very abrasive. We would go to different locations and they would only yell at me. My classmates were actually charging me to use the tools to fix the cars in my dream. I remember this one guy repeating, you have to pay me money every minute that you use this tool. This is my one tool. That was very annoying. And all these bad behaviors, all these voices of negativity, all these feelings of being put down by these people who I've never seen before in a location I've never been. At the end of my dream, I remember saying, and reflecting really in the dream, at the last moment of the dream, I didn't get upset like I always did it in most of these dreams. At the end of the dream, I literally stopped and looked out across the city someplace in Italy, looking at my classmates and my teachers who were just being pissed off, and looking at them and saying to myself in my mind in the dream, If you're not going to love me, I'm not going to listen to you. If you're not going to love me, I'm not going to listen to you. And then I woke up. And I realized that dream was a lesson. That dream was a test. That dream was a test and a preparation for my real life, for this real world that we live in. That if people, well, people will misbehave. People will say things that hurt our feelings. People will do things to you that you don't like, that make you feel horrible, make you feel awkward. Your friends will betray you and they will charge you money. They will do things that make you feel horrible about yourself. Things that you think shouldn't be happen, they're doing it to you, including your family. All these things happen, and instead of getting upset, which we mostly do, instead of you wanting getting revenge, instead of you doing all these negative thoughts, the answer is simple. You look at them, and you tell them, or you don't have to tell them if you are shy and introverted, that is fine but you have the recognition in your own mind, the awareness in your mind, that if you don't love me, I'm not going to listen to you. I'll say it again. If you don't love me, I'm not going to listen to you. That's how you go around every day in life. That's how you will handle the negativity of every day, of interactions, of disappointments, of your boss, your colleagues, your wife, your husband, your kids, the stranger on the street, the bus driver, the teacher, the coach. If you don't love me, I'm not going to listen to you. And what that means is that if their behavior does not support you, if their words do not lift you, then they have no right to affect you.
to affect your feelings, to affect your emotions, to affect your behavior, to affect your day. If you don't love me, I'm not going to listen to you. Go forth and spread beauty and light. Don't let anyone touch your soul. Don't let anyone hurt your feelings. And when you have a moment that your guard is down and people do hurt your feelings because we are human and we can't constantly go around saying, no one's going to hurt my feelings. It's not, that's not the way we live. It's not the way anyone should live. You should go about walking around, living, loving, being in the moment, allowing the moment to happen, whatever the moment's going to happen. But in those few moments of the day that someone or something happens that is negative, your counter to that moment is not anxiety, it's not depression, it definitely is not feeling sorry for yourself and feeling like a victim. That's definitely not it. All you have to say to yourself is, if you don't love me, I don't have to listen to you. I'm Thomas Inglero. I believe in you. I support you. And I understand the personal, individual journey you are on. You are not alone. We're all in this together. I love you. Until next time. Thank you for listening to that episode. If you want to contact me, you can contact me on my website at englero.com. And you can also subscribe to the newsletter. Or you can find me anywhere on social media with Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much, and I hope to hear from you very soon.